All right, this is Tony Esther, and I'm kicking it with DME TV. Tony Esther, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm looking at you. At a, which one? Yeah, me looking at the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. That's what's up. Yeah. Hey, finally glad to meet you. Listen, glad to be, glad to be here. Yeah, to I don't be know here. if you remember. Uh, we, we probably we actually I first heard of your name on uh, I think it was Twitter. Really? And, um, you sent me one of your singles. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Play it on my playlist. Yeah. That's how I first heard you. Then I started, you know, I started seeing things from time to time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's start this thing off. Kind of tell tell people, um, you know, where you're from. Florence, South Carolina, eight four three, all day. Okay. All day. And how was it growing up in Florence? Um, it was okay. Well, I'm I'm really from a little small town, Lamar. South Carolina. I've been there. Oh yeah, very small, very small, and then I just migrated over to uh, Florence. Okay. So. Okay. So, how was I mean, life growing up in Lamar that that got you into the music? Um. What what, what you know what was who you know uh, <laughs> what's the word? Well, I would say like the small town country feel. Like everybody know each other. So it's like, okay, like you all good, family, friends and stuff like that. And it's, you know, just you know, when you when you from the country it's like all soul anyways, like right. so that's what kinda made me get into that music. Okay. Anybody in the family was an artist? My dad my dad, okay. yeah, my dad, like he was really so influenced, like it was a lot of it was a lot of uh, Sam Cook okay. temptations, you know, he was that type of guy. Um a lot of like the juke joints kind of like thing right. and then he you know introduced us me and my siblings to that music and just you know that's how it was from there like you know i got a lot of soul in me i know i do hip-hop but right. um i prefer like soul hop like soul right. hip-hop kind of like that's that's me that's my some people say neo soul hip-hop oh, right. well okay. so how long you been grinding in this music then? um i'm gonna say it was not long at all. It was like maybe a year and a half. Yeah, okay. mm. it's, not long, it's, it's not long at all. I'm, I'm still new to it. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm I'm, I'm taking my time. I say, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, what's some of the um, places you you, you kind of been to? Have you been out? Well, have you been out to state with this music? Now? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Been to North Carolina. Been to Georgia. Okay. Uh, mainly in state though. Charleston, um, where, Florence, of course, right. you know, home, hometown, uh, Darlington, that's right. not too far from Florence, right. um, Sumter, Columbia. Okay, just the main, main local scene. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, how was the reception um, in other states like Georgia, North Carolina versus South Carolina when, you know, they heard your music? How did they react? I mean, they they like it. They feeling it. Um, especially my thrift store. Okay. No, I say thrift store. Thrift shop. Thrift I'm sorry. Yeah. Thrift shop single. Like it's not like, you know, your typical what you hear on the radio these days. Like it's like you know, sort of, sort of like a northern type feel. Right. So it's different. So people kind of like okay. Yeah, it's catchy too. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Catchy. It's real catchy. Yeah. Real catchy. So what's you just had a um, what was it an album release party? It was a uh, like a performance kind of like thing that I put together okay. myself. So I was kind of like proud of that okay. me stepping out and doing my thing independently. Right. So it's like you know I'm putting a lot on the line. So. So you pretty much you booked the venue and yeah, okay, we got the band together. Yeah. You know, okay. just did everything myself. So. Okay. Who was the band? The name? band was Beyond Mars. It's like an in-house band. Okay. Um, shout out to them, by the way. Okay. Um, dope band. South Carolina, Florence, South Carolina. So if you ever want to hear any live music, make sure you go to Soleil Cafe to watch Beyond Mars. Okay. Dope band. Okay. So we're in 2020. What's what's new for you? What, what do you have going on that people need to know about Tony Esther so they can catch up on the music? <laughs> um just i mean just just stay tuned like you know i'm just trying to push out uh my last project um a jar you know a jar with no lid okay. um 
trying to, you know, push that forth and trying to put out visuals. Okay. Uh, just trying to connect with the people, you know, sending out the message on what a jar with no lid means. Just, just break it down. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, well, it's just saying like anything is possible. Right. You know what I mean? Like I'm a small, like small town country girl, right. Lamar, South Carolina. Right. Like who would have known? You know what I mean? Right. Music, doing this thing, and you know, traveling and trying to do my thing independently. Right. Which is not easy. Female hip hop artists in right. the game trying to do her thing that look like me. You know what right. I mean? Like right. so, it's different. But I want to teach people anything is possible. Like, it can happen. Right. So, like, what's uh, uh, on your album, A Jaw No Lid? Mm -hmm. What is the favorite, what is your favorite song? And then, what have the people been saying their favorite song is? Okay, so, I want to say my favorite song. Lately, I've been really vibing to Queen Show. Like, you that's see, my <laughs> that's my that's my that's yeah. My I like that joint. Yeah, Queen Show is basically like you know shouting out all of the female hip hop artists who really been you know influential in my life. Um, shout out to Queen Latifah, like she my all time favorite. Um, but I didn't put Rhapsody in the song either. Because right. she right now to me like she's the greatest. Like right. I don't care male, female, she is the greatest. Right. Um a lot of people like take two. Okay. Take two. Um it's basically a, you know, pick yourself up and try again type right. song. But the uh they like the bars that's in the song. So okay. you know, it's something that you sit down and listen to. It ain't nothing that you you know, like like no club joint. It's like a you know, sit down and you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, anybody that you want to work with, um, producer wise, artist wise, that maybe like one of your dream collabs or feature, a dream feature, who, like, who, who are some of those people? Um, I would like to work with Neil, yeah, uh, it's a it's a uh, producer named Neil, okay. produced by Neil. She works with uh, Toby. No, no, he I'm, I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong, but um, I would like to work with her. Okay. Um, anybody from the eight four three area. Okay. Club, just <laughs> you know. Y'all heard that. <laughs> anybody from the eight four three area, like you know, I'm not gonna turn you away. I feel like if you have a message in your music, like I'm a rock with you. Um. Anybody else who I? Um, I mean, you know, I'm I'm open. open. I'm open. Okay, that's what's up. I'm I'm versatile, so. Okay. Just in the studio, just you know, writing, trying to uh, get the music together. I think I want to put out something this summer. Okay. Um, like I said, working on the visuals, trying to get those together, okay. so I can like push those out just to further that message of a jar with no lid. So, um, as far as visual, what songs are you planning on? You know, uh, putting shooting. up thrift shop. thrift shop. I want to do thrift shop. Um, of course, Queen Show, Queen Show dope. Take Two, um, and Crown. Queen Show, you know, we gotta get a couple of you know, we gotta get Queen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 because they don't get a lot of credit, like, oh, like yeah. they should, you know, what I mean, like it's. The female rappers these days, like, you know, it, it, they good. Like, you know, I'm, I rock with them, but at the same time, like, you need to pay homage to the ones right. that brought you here. Right. So how do you feel about the image of most of the female artists? And I'm talking about mm -hmm. the mainstream artists, you know, like, you got the Meg, the Stallion, and these other artists, they, it's not like, you know, the, the Yo-Yo, the yeah. Lights, yeah. um, or whatnot. How do you feel about the image with you coming up? You don't have that type of image. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you feel? Do you think it kind of hinders people looking at an artist like yourself? Mm. Um, I want to say yeah and no. Like I don't have, you know, it, it, whatever they doing is them. You know what I mean? Like that's that's them. Right. Whatever I'm doing, that's me. You know what I'm saying? Like. 
I think it would hinder because, you know, it's all about image. And I feel like a lot of people, if they rock with your message, then they're going to get with you, like, regardless of how you look. So, I mean, shout out to those women that doing their thing. I mean, they they work hard. You know, it, it ain't easy. It, it's, it's not easy at all. So, you know, I, I, I give it to them. That's all I can really... It's, that's, it sound a little safe, but, you know right, what I mean? Right. But, you know, everybody got their own personality. Like, I feel like no rapper is the same. Definitely. Like, we all different, you know right. what I mean? So. Right. Who, who, who's uh, who's on, on the album that y'all know that far as produ production-wise? Talking about, like, mine? Yeah. <laughs> who, who's, who's, who produced some of the beats? Um, you know, I, I buy a lot of my beats offline. Okay. So, um, Tone Jones, um... Track Pros, uh, I say that that's about. Okay. What do you um, record at? Sam B Mixing Studios. Okay, you, okay, you Sam B Mixing, that's my dude. If you ever in Columbia, please go see Sam. Like it's very, it's an intimate setting. Like you know, he'll, he'll hype you up, <laughs> but he's a really good dude. So. That's why I go out and do my recordings. Okay. How long do you record with Sam? Like, well, I record my whole project with Sam. Okay. So, um, you know, I did a few other singles in Darlington with Henny um, on the boards. So, I mean, dope studio as well. But, you know, if you ever in Darlington or Columbia, go hit those guys. Phenomenal. Okay. That's, that's dope. Yeah. That's Sam. <laughs> You know what, Sam, Sam, we have people from all over, man. When I, yeah. first, when I first met him, um, well, how I first heard about him mm -hmm. was I was at an event at a studio, a studio mm -hmm. in Columbia. And I heard, I heard the guy music, that man started talking, he was from King Street. Oh, wow. Yeah, E.K. the Great. Yeah, and okay, we shot, okay. We shot, of, we shot about two or three videos for him, mm -hmm. you know, so far over the last year or two. So that's the first time I heard of Sam B. Mix and I met him and you know, we've been we've been pretty we've been cool ever since, you know. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while but you know Cool dudes. Yeah, Sam cool. Man. Yeah, cool. Sam. Very cool dude, very yeah. you know, very professional too. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very professional. So have you ran across anybody that was unprofessional that you you know, that they kinda that. got to use like I can't deal with this person because you know you hear a lot of things in the mainstream industry mm -hmm. and there has some there have been some things that happen in the and in, in, you know in the indie scene, you know, as far as like male, female or yeah. male, you know, being disrespectful towards a female. Have you had anything like that happen to you? Um nah, not really. I feel like, you know, you have to set the tone. Like right. um I feel like it with with, with my music, mm -hmm. I kinda lay it out like, okay, this is the music. And this is what it's gonna be like. If you listen to the music, it's like you know I don't tolerate the disrespect. Like uh, you know I ain't none of that going on with the you know sexual wise or anything like that. Like right. it's basically music. Like everything right. can be professional. If you want to make money, hey, I can make money with you too. Like, but you know I feel like we have to be. It's still a job at the end of the day. You exactly. know what I mean? Like we all gotta be professional. So. Nah, ain't none of that going on. <laughs> ain't none of that going on. Okay, that's what's up. So for the people that want to get in contact with you, let them know how they can, you know, find Tony Esther and Listen, you know what I'm saying? Come to Florence now. <laughs> uh Florence or Columbia. Like I'm you know, I'm here too. So um Instagram, Tony Esther S C. Uh Twitter, Tony Esther South. Um and then I'm on all platforms, Tony Esther. Okay. You gotta tell them they gotta go ahead and get that album, man. Please, right. Listen, please, like, do not miss what's gonna come this summer. Like, you do not. I'm gonna be in a city near you, whoever's watching. <laughs> I'm gonna be in a city. I don't care if I'm going to Charlotte. Listen, if I gotta go to CIAA and I gotta hit everywhere, I'm going. Like, you know, I, I just gotta push this message, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's my number one thing, you know? Give, 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 give an artist, I know you haven't been doing it long, mm -hmm. but give someone a piece of advice that 
maybe you didn't something you didn't know but you learned it mm -hmm. you know along the way just, just, just drop a piece of advice on, on, on an artist and let them know you know what i'm saying um always have a listening ear you know don't just be like I don't want to hear that or you know what I mean if somebody trying to give you advice or trying to tell you something listen you know what I mean especially if a person who's not been doing this long or who been in the business you know business for a long time like they there so listen to them you know what I mean they trying to give you free advice or anything like that listen um just keep going like it's not gonna be easy like you're gonna hear a lot of no's um, I've been hearing a lot of no's and, you know, for every no, there's a yes. So, you know, people going to, they're going to rock with you if you got something to say. Right. So, I mean, um, be unique. Nobody, like I said, nobody's the same. Um, what other message I want? Stick to it. Stay in your ground. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be easy. Like, you're going to have people want to test you for real. Just stand your ground. You know what I mean? Be be who you are. And don't let nobody change you. Don't let this game change you. Because it can. Um, and show love. Like, wherever you go. Like, be nice to people. Because you may need those people again. Like, I've been very blessed. And people have been blessing me. Like, you know, coming up, coming up to me and speaking to me. Or just giving me free things, period. Like, bless. You know what I mean? Be nice. Don't don't be a you know what I mean like <laughs> be nice. Be yeah, yeah, please don't, <laughs> please don't, please, yeah. please. That that that's not gonna help you. Definitely. Hey, I appreciate your time. You know, you driving up to Columbia and you know stopping by and talking to me. You know, I wish definitely wish you success and um, hopefully I see you again. You know, make sure you stop I, by. I appreciate I, I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate the opportunity. Keep That's doing what you're doing. We need you. That's what's up. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, peace. All right.